Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're here with Project Bobby B, and we're going to show you guys how to check the oil level for your later model MGBs. Um, so basically, in the, back in the old MGBs, and I've learned this as I was trying, the oil level could be checked behind your radio, and you pop this uh, little grommet, and there's a little dipstick in there you can pop out and fill from the top. Well, in the later models, they relocated that. And it's under the car on the passenger side of the transmission that little bolt right there so we're gonna have to loosen that and we'll stick our finger in we'll see if we feel any and then we will utilize this filler pump and add a little as necessary I got 20 w50 over there and so we're gonna add some um, eventually I'm gonna drain the whole thing and uh, see if I can tackle the real seal but in the meantime I just want to maintain the level for when I run the motor just to uh, just for safety's sake so we we'll go ahead and uh, loosen that bolt, see what we got, and then we'll cut this open and get the 2050 and get it going. All right, so let's knock this out. As you guys can see, we get in here. All right, let's try this guy. Nope. This be too big. Yeah, maybe not. Fudge. And that's why you wear gloves every freaking time. God bless America, man. I'm going to be bleeding pretty good here in a second. Ow. God bless every time. <clears throat> what am I doing here? Oh, nuts. It's not even the right size. Oh, awesome. Well, no. Now we're going to take a brief pause and we'll be right back because I jacked my hand up pretty good. Oh man. Yep, I am <laughs> completely shaved all the skin off. So we're going to go fix that. Sorry to show you guys a gruesome image. Should have probably gave you a warning. Gosh, I am putting a lot of force into this. All right, might be time to soak with some uh, PB and attack it later. So we go get the PB. We'll hit it up. We'll see what happens. Be right back. So I let the, the uh, PW PB blaster sit in, and I was able to get the plug off. Uh, so we're going to check the oil level uh, first. Let me get a rag so I can make sure this thing stays clean. We're going to check the oil level. And the oil, hold on one second. The oil is supposed to be maintained at the high level. So we're going to put our finger in, and if we feel oil, then we're good to go. So let's see what happens. Cut it. Ah. I soaked this thing in TV glass, didn't it? Worked like a cha charm. All right, let's see. Whoops. Need to be better and careful with that. I actually like this uh, little camera, GoPro knockoff. It's a Van Top 4, Van Top Moment 4, and it's working good, so let's see. Come on up. Yep, there's oil, and it's clean, and so we're, uh, we're going to call it good, and we're going to shut her back up. I was just worried that I was running my motor, and uh, there would be no oil in there, but... Uh, you know, I guess we're good to go. Let's go ahead and clean this guy up. Put her, start threading her back in. And let's tighten her down. Alright, of course the wrench is right under the camera. I'm a little worried it was too tight before. I had to really uh, put some counter torque on there. Buster free. So we're going to leave it right about... I think that's going to be good. Let's see what happens. I don't want to go too tight. 
Well, that's it. That's it, guys. That's how you check your transmission oil level and maintain it at the high level. Um, simple. One of the next big videos we got with pertaining transmission is going to be the rear seal. But it's obviously not leaking as bad as I thought because after 25 years, that's the level it's at. So I'm thinking that the seal's not completely terrible. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please subscribe, follow my build on Project Bobby B, and I uh, look forward to bringing you guys another video in the near uh, future. So take care.